Hi, I'm Andre Copeland with Elite EMT Academy. Today I'm going to introduce you the EMT basic skill of BVM ventilation of an apneic patient. For this skill, you would need the following equipment. A full oxygen bottle with a regulator attached, oxygen tubing, a BVM with a face piece to go with it. Nasal pharyngeals of different sizes, that way you can measure it to see which one you need to use. Same with oral pharyngeals of different sizes. Properly functioning suction tubing that works. You need your canister for your suction tubing, your suction tubing, and your yonker. Take a verbalize the appropriate body substance isolation precautions. Hey, hey, are you okay? Look, listen and feel for the person breathing. Watch the chest rise and fall. For an unresponsive apneic patient, you want to request additional EMS assistance. Check for a carotid pulse for at least 5 seconds and no more than 10 seconds. Open the airway with a twisting motion. Prepare my rigid catheter. Turn my suction canister on to make sure it's functioning properly. Measure your rigid catheter to see how far you need to insert into the airway from the corner of the mouth to the tip of the earlobe. You put the two fingers there to know how far the depth should go. Insert your rigid catheter in the side of the mouth without suctioning. Press your finger over the hole to create suction and suction on the way out swooping from side to side for no more than 15 seconds. Open the airway, preparing to insert the proper size. Before inserting the oral pharyngeal airway, you need to measure, and the proper measurement is from the tip of the earlobe to the corner of the mouth. Insertion of the oral pharyngeal airway, once the proper size is selected, go in and halfway in, turn 180 degrees to suppress the tongue to the back of the mouth. And it's properly placed. Properly fit the face piece of the BVM on the patient, slide it, decrease above the nose, slide down over the mouth, and create a tight seal using a C-clamp on the mouth. To ventilate the apneic patient, you give them one breath every five to six seconds. So it's one breath. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four. Five, two, three, four, five. Recheck for a pulse for at least five seconds, but no more than 10 seconds. Attach the oxygen tubing to the stem at the bottom of the BVM. Attach the oxygen tubing to the regulator. Adjust the liters per minute to 15. Once the oxygen is connected to the O2 tubing and flowing at least 15 liters per minute, you want to ventilate your patient with one breath every 5 to 6 seconds or 10 to 12 breaths a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 